All right, everybody, we are back. It's your friend, Will. This is the Memory Lapse, and we are joined tonight by special guest Zealand. Hello. With the new mic, you're going to be able to hear her, unlike last time she's been here with us. And we're picking up on the green-black, proving this is the best deck to grind gold series. With Karn. With Karn. Unusual. Unusual. Well, so not actually unusual, because I did see for like a, a minute there... Uh, let's, let's say about three weeks ago when people were experimenting with green black a lot there was a build of this deck that used eight the eight accelerators into planeswalkers and stuff mm -hmm. but then it kind of i don't know i don't think it ever won any events i think it was just one of those things that somebody tried it someone tried it or someone wrote about it like hey this is a cool way to take this deck. somebody mulligan mulligan it's on your bad luck this I, we can keep, right? keep for sure especially if there's a land on top yeah. All right. I think you just won the game. Congratulations. No, we haven't won, but we need to hit. We need to get like a Karn or a Carnage Tyrant or. Is this Merfolk or is this Mono Blue? It's probably Mono Blue. They took the time to like pick an island, so I'm guessing that this is Mono Blue. Unless it just randomizes your islands. Nope. Yep. Okay. So they have the combo. They found the combo. This is going to be a tough one. Right off the right off the top here. Ooh, but that's probably the best draw mm -hmm. that we have in our deck. We even get to bash them for one here. So drawing the Wild Growth Walker, we're looking to race. Uh, we're we're gonna race them on life. They're gonna race us on cards. Not not traditionally a winning proposition. Usually, I think it's okay. Usually, cards are better than life. All the cards historically that let you trade or that let you trade life from where cards are banned. The so. only difference though is that when you gain life, you're also gaining power, right? Yes. So I guess we're just gonna slam Jade Light here. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming that they're gonna tap your Wild Earth Walker down with their Merfolk Trickster. Uh, or they could have Wizard's Retort here. That's that's what I'm thinking. Essence Scatter. Okay. All right, so we're trading two for two. Two for two minus one card. So not a winning proposition. And they're going to play down their gin post combat. They can protect it. I'm assuming that they're holding a dive down. Um, uh, maybe the it's hard to tell. Playing? So some decks don't main deck dive down. That some... Seems like a mistake. Yeah, I I like it, but if they're on like a 21 land build, they might not have room for it. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see if they counter this. Tricksters, yeah. they want to deny us the counter and the life gain. Oh, they they might have us here. We need to draw into some really big stuff. Graveyard, Graveyard no thank you. Take your length of turn. Yep. Alright, so Carnage Tyrant? Yeah, we need to draw a Carnage Tyrant or Vivian Reed. And have them not have any kind of response, but this is probably this is the type of draw where, I mean, this Essence Scatter more or less put the nail in the coffin for us. But I think we had to play something there. Maybe we could have just played Druid of the Cowl, but eventually they're just going to get the Essence Scatter on us. Like, they're going to hold it. They're clearly playing Disciplined. Uh, I think this is a loss. Yeah, this is a loss. I mean, honestly, just scoop here, right? Like I we, think we, I'd play it out just in case. They might disconnect. I've had that happen ooh, to myself yeah, a few times. That's true. They might disconnect. The disconnect equity is is pretty good in this game. Mm -hmm. It's been happening a lot in the last week or so. I've, I've noticed finding. that. Yeah. Not that that's how you want to win, but it's how I want to win right now. I'm very into winning that way right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm extremely into that. I've had a pretty good record against Mono Blue uh, with this deck. Ichi, relax, man. All right, so this is pretty bad for us. All right, yeah, this is where you scoop. If we had hit, uh, like, fine finality there and they did not have a counter, we would have been in a good spot. They'd only drew, like, drawn, like, five or six extra cards yeah. that game. Ichi, go man. But you know what? That's behind yeah. us. It's behind us. We're moving to the next one. That's the beauty of these quick constructed events is we just get to move on to the next one. And it's imperfect. We know we're not going to 7 0 every single time. Sometimes we're just going to 7 1, right, Ichi? Yeah. Ichi's like peppy right now because he had a bath. 
This is this is beautiful. This is cute. Great for red deck. Yeah, this is red deck. We got them. Red we, deck with no lightning bolt. Right, they to be fair, have, you have to you have to slow roll the, the wild growth walker. Okay. Ooh, oh, black white vampires. This feels like a win. Yeah, this is usually a win. It could be the Lich's Mastery deck, but I don't know if anybody's been able to create a best of one version of that. I think that deck is. I'm. I'm pretty. I, I'm in the camp that any deck that's playing Masterminds and Inquisition is garbage. I think that card is utter trash. I think that's fair. If you get tricked into playing it, God bless you. I think that's a keep. I think that's a keep. They're but... a creature deck. You want to be able to draw. Yeah, I think so. Smash. What is is Bishop Soldier? That's a vampire soldier. Okay. It's a vampire soldier. That's a two-two lifelink vanilla, more or less. I guess we don't trade because next turn we get yeah. to like play the midnight. Re uh, well, well, no, maybe we just trade because we don't care, right? Problem, right? Yeah. Honestly, we're gonna outcard them here, and we have finality, or we have fine to get stuff back. So. Uh, you probably just. I think we just uh... No, you think that there's a chance they have something better. Um, they have the two four flyer, mm. which comes into the precon. I think you might. You think we just play Reaper then? I think you play Reaper, or you just Branch Walker. Branch Walker's pretty good. I like drawing land. Graveyard. You're gonna take two next turn. That's okay. That's We're fine. at twenty nine. You probably won't attack because Yeah. We... This this trade we make all day, right? Like I think so, because it just reward. gives you a target for your find finality. Or for your find. Even though I do feel that that's a finality, not a find. The, yeah, in this matchup, the finality mode wins quite often. Alright, Radiant Destiny. Are you going to attack? Block, block, block. Alright, they didn't let us. Alright. So now do we just rip the Chupacabra and push seven damage to their face? This puts them on a two-turn clock. I think that sounds amazing. I like that. And it gets them further away from ascending to the city's blessing. I think the thing is, unless they got that as an ICR, they crafted that card. Yeah, I mean, this was this is a staple in Vampires. It's just that Vampires itself is not a staple, right? Mm -hmm. This is a 5-5. Five five. That's huge. What? Uh, so are we just gonna find back to grow our wild growth walker here? I think that that makes sound sense. Or yeah. Or yeah, I was gonna say there's a chance that you swing with the chupacabra to hope they block, mm. but they would they would block your wild growth walker, so yeah. it doesn't actually matter. We can shock here because we don't care. Yeah, and you're just gonna gain four of that back. Six. Even. Oh yeah, four. It was minus two plus six, so four total. Boom, boom. I'm thinking it's actually worth to attack out there. Oh, oh, because this is lethal here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, if we attack out, we could get them down to one. They would get a block on the branch walker. That's okay. That's okay. Because you would still have a very significant number of blockers next turn. Um, and you gotta slow me down. I'm gonna play fast because we're drinking. I got the dog on my lap. That's actually one of the things I've been noticing about some of the play. Um, I think more with the Is It Drake videos from today. Whoa, okay, hold on, hold on. Save, the, save the criticism from when we're off mic, Zealand. It's not a criticism. Save it from when we're off mic. I can't handle this. All right, it just says vigilance, so we take. Mm hmm. But yeah, I do play too fast because here, I'm constrained. I'm time constrained. Here, think about settle. True. So I think if you even just... Oh, I forgot that they have the... Hmm. I think we just play Midnight Reaper and we swing. I don't, I don't know if you swing out. I think you swing with everything except through Wild Growth Walker. Really? Oh, I, I actually like that. Kind That's... of. It's a little... You're not... It's not lethal. That's the only thing. I like that. Because they could have settled. And also... If they have settle, your midnight reaper does nothing. They could totally have like a one X settle. Okay. This is fine. Well, eh. It's it's the same net effect as if we attacked with it, because they would That's have true. just rasted and tempted it. 
All right, so really? we, we trade here. No, they have to make some block. Yeah, absolutely. And then we get to cycle whatever they block. All right, but this indicates that this card is not settle. So I think next turn we're not going to play around settle. Draw a card. So we now even these life linker back, which is interesting. Even these like elves and stuff are lethal if they get through. So they need to go pretty wide here. If they made like, all right. Is that oh, that... What does that even do? It hits me for three and heals them for three, so it makes our attacks a little bit worse. Oh, they also have Ooh. vigilance. Okay. All right, we win. This has to be good, right? Yeah, just double check to see which is the best one. So is. if we take out the four or five, or and they block two and three, they take out the life linker. Oh yes, 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 yes. So we take out the life linker. And they block two and three, then four damage goes through. Yep. So they have to have like a one mana effect. And even if they have something, we still draw a ton of cards here. All right. Woo! A close one against black white commons <laughs> in, in a glorious anthem. All right, on to the next. Just keep them coming. Let's go. It feels good. Feels good. I mean, ho holding, uh, if we had ho held finality there because of that glorious anthem, everything they played after that was like five toughness. Yeah. <laughs> so weird because they were playing these mopey five mana four fours. Yeah, but anytime you could have drawn Vivian, you know? Mm -hmm. Wait, is this the, the same person? No. What is, I, I wasn't. Gloomy Doom. I don't think so, but I think we keep this because. We keep this. We're, we're on the draw. And if we rip straight land, we're happy. And if we rip creatures, we're probably good. Right, they're down to six, we keep. So this could imply that it's either a control deck or a mana greedy. Ooh, oh, okay, nope, it's so Drake's. Phoenix, right? It's gotta be Phoenix. Okay. They still play Lava Coils, but not necessarily. It depends on the build. Like this all in build, coils, yeah. this all in build may not play Lava Coil at all. Like we, we really don't know what they're gonna play. So I def we're definitely just going to run out this Wild Growth Walker here. This card, I mean, I've actually lost with this deck to green-black a lot. Because sometimes you're just all in on one creature, and they chupacabra it, and then you're dead. So Okay, so they right. have one phoenix in the yard. Good for them. Just mental note. So that would imply that they either are digging for land or they have a lot of spells. Yeah, they must have a lot of spells. All right. Oh, well, let's just play this tapped. We have a fair crack at racing them with life gain. Mm -hmm. That's one. Yeah, if they just play three one mana spells and attack us here, we're pretty happy. They do that land. What? Bane fire for one. Interesting. Whoa, and no, they don't even bring back their creature. No third spell. Yeah, right? It's gotta be just Karn here. Yeah, unless they have to play Spell Snare, which, okay, they don't. Spell Pure Seal. Spell Snare is a uh, very different card. Old Ravnica block staple. And a vintage and legacy staple, right? Spell Snare? Probably. It's a pretty good card. That card's good. When did Ravnica come out? 2006? Uh, I don't even know. Don't I don't want to think about that? Yeah, I don't yeah. want to think about it. I think I'm at the age where, like, 2006, like, anything in the past just perpetually feels five years ago. Yeah. Even if it was 15 years ago or one year ago. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, that was, like, five years ago, right? Yeah. Yeah, five yeah. years ago. Great. Magic was great five years ago. Ready, Chi? Okay. Are they going to attack this down to one? That would be kind of cool. I think that's wrong. Yeah. They need to be attacking your face. 
Yeah. Um, also, because right now, you, they only have three cards in hand. Ooh. Oh, I wonder which one I get. This is, seems like an easy Chupacabra. Yeah, I think Chupacabra's pretty good here. Um, this this Wild Birth Walker doesn't do much for us. Like, the only thing... Like, they clearly don't have a second Phoenix, I don't think. No, they would have discarded it. To... No, maybe not. Hmm. No, no, they would have discarded it to this chart. Because they discarded this one to the flashback okay. radical idea. I think this is fine. Yeah, the only thing is that that's your answer to their... To a bigger Drake. So what's the alternative here? Playing like Reaper and another Walker? Maybe, because then... We lose our Karn oh, that's, for that's, sure. That's true, though. That's true. So maybe it's the, the Chupacabra. And maybe there is a way for you to... Uh... We just get Karn's time next turn, which will close the game so fast. Yeah. Unless they can block um, the Drake. No, you know what? I think, I think you're right. I think we should just... Then we should just play Reaper and Wild Worth Walker and get wide on the board. This Karn has done its duty. Yeah, if they want to sink a total of six damage into it, that's perfectly Yeah, that's fine. awesome. They are the aggro deck here. Because the only thing we lose to is some big X4 that can block mm -hmm. us and, or trade with our Carnage Tyrant. And this holding this lets us... I mean, they, they, they could have dive down, right? Like to this. Mm, they would have... Yeah. To protect, but they're I, they're low on cards. I feel like dive down is not necessarily a card that you want to play in this deck because you want to play proactive spells, spells, not reactive spells. Mm -hmm. What? Oh, they're on, they're on their own freaking. They're like, here. I have is it cards? Let me build a deck. Yeah, but they can use this to shock our wild growth walker. Oh, the midnight reaper. Uh -huh. Thank you for the card, sir. Interesting. Okay. And I think. Well, we can kill the Rao mm -hmm. and play a Carnage Tyrant. Seems good, right? Carnage Tyrant is just insane. Yeah, it tramples. This card main deck has just been... It's insane. It's so good. What a radical idea at first. Right. So we could find back these two creatures and just play these two explore guys and just attack for lethal. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yes, yeah, lethal. Alright. Sounds great. And just make sure that the auto tapper does not screw you anyhow. Yeah. We have enough dual lands. We're on that money bags dual land deck where it we must can be nice. just don't even have to worry about the auto tapper. Oh, they scooped to that. Each trigger undoes a Phoenix attack. All right, so 01 to 20. Oh. Don't even have to look at the card. Doesn't even matter. Inconsequential. Okay. Run that money bags life. That must be nice. Yeah. All we want is the gold. We want to get to that 100K gold. What is this? Oh, it's leftover donut. Bachelor life. No, it's from when it's from the cool? other morning before she left for her trip. Okay. And I went to the donut place she likes and got donuts because I'm like that guy. This seems Listeners, like a keep, right? Pro tip. Yeah. Happy happy wife, happy life. Ask any New York City cab driver and they'll tell you that. Alright, so we need to draw a land slash explore into one. And then this hand just takes off, more or less. Again, this is very promising username. Inebriated Pisces, that's us right now. You're Pisces? Yeah. I'm no. Aquarius. Yeah, no, you are. You're Pisces. I'm Aquarius. Oh, you're on the other side of it. Mm -hmm. I don't believe in that shit. Well, don't tell your wife. No, I know. Uh, we graveyard this, right? Yeah, I think so. We need to find the actual land to keep keep cruising here. Eat your relax. Uh oh. Wow, tanking. Tanking. It's a tough turn too. 
I think the debating point of the night is our only two drop. The night's pretty good. Oh, wait, wait, oh, wait, wait. That was our turn. They're tanking on our end step. Uh, maybe maybe they that... had like a gain three draw card or something. Mm -hmm. They have the destroy target non legendary creature. Oh, or cast of, down. Cast down or moment of craving. That's yeah. what they have. But they. They would have moment of craving it in response. If they're savvy. They're clearly savvy. It's a vampire deck. Land! Hell yes. Oh, wrong color, but still okay. That's a land. Alright. Smash. So now, like, with this type of hand, where we're down, where we need land, we're okay trading this to get a card. For sure. This is their 2-4 mythic vampire flying guy turn. Which yeah, but like, that thing doesn't do anything until they have the cities. It blocks your 3-2. That's true. You know? And, like, even though, sure, you, you can draw a card and lose a life. Hold on, I don't want to trade this exactly. for just a card. I want it to trade for something yes, and yes. get a card. Exactly. That's how the rock decks work. The spirit of Solmaka lives with us. Praise be. Praise be. Under his eye. That show is terrifying. Yeah. All right, somebody's done some Dominaria drafts. That's right. Um, and unfortunately, they've done some Ixalan drafts. <laughs> Feels bad. That might be in the free time. Maybe. Ooh. I think that you get the blocker out of the way, right? So we can get the blocker out of the way, or we can just play Karn and our 2 3 true. blocks here. And Karn just lets us start drawing, and like, I don't know, I kind of like Karn here. Because if we get to six, we're just going to find out even That's true. Them out, you're, right? you're right. You're right. Oh, Monotide? I was a big fan of Monotide back in That's the time what happens spiral. when we play mono white decks. Yeah. Monotai to you. It gets him every time. All right. How likely, on a scale of 1 to 10, mm -hmm. do you think Witches of the Coast is Mark Rosewater to reprint Phyrexian Arena? My, one of my favorite cards of all time. Um, I think they'd reprint it. In a you think they set. would? In a base set. No. I said, like... Like, not a super exciting card. It fills the need. Well, it's... A, I mean, compared to, like, the card advantage engines that you have now, they all cost four or five, and... Yeah. Like, back when we had Phyrexian Arena, you could just go, like, turn one Birds of Paradise, turn two Phyrexian Arena, and just draw two cards for the rest of the game. I yeah, but it deals you one damage. It's a bad card, That's well. fine. <laughs> um, this deals me one damage when I draw. I think the difference is maybe... Okay, enchantments are harder to remove than planeswalkers or creatures. Like, that's... In some ways, yeah. In a lot of ways. Um, Ooh, this... No longer blocks. You no longer even double blocks. This puts a little bit of a wrinkle in, in the plan here. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't hurt the finality plan that badly. Um, they're going to get that beyond finality before... Well, we have this... Uh, we can just remove the uh, Johnny next turn. Or you can just remove the creature. And attack a Johnny. That works too. Are they just doing this? Hmm. I guess you just... I think we block. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, wait, you're tapped out. Yeah, we block, right? And we just, we just remove this next turn. I guess. Sure. Ooh, mm. I, I think this is fine. We don't want to lose the Karn. We get to draw a card here. What the hell? Wait, what is this? Um. Oh, it doesn't do anything. What? All right, so I think you might just Raska's Contempt from the, the creature. The, the creature? The blocker, yeah. I think. And that just permanently get rid of a Johnny here? Yeah, but you're, that 3-3 three, three is going to be... Hmm. Oh, this 3-3 three, three dies in a turn okay. to finality. Okay, that's fair. Play your land. Nice. See our opponents on board with our, <laughs> with our plays. Hats off to you, inebriated Pisces. I hope you're having some good stuff tonight. That makes two of you. 
Hmm. So what's our, our our dream is that they go super wide here. Mm-hmm. We get we to block. Land. And between this, oh, our that yes, counts as exactly. super wide. So between Midnight Reaper, our draw step, and the card activation, if we get a yeah. land, we just wrap so them. block. Yeah. This has lifelink. Jesus. Not a land. Not a land. So wait, 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 wait. I just want to check. Yeah, there's not. Okay. There's not land. All right. They always give you the land. They always here. give you the land, oh. except when there's no land. That's just unlucky. <coughs> um. Your options. Well. Chupacabra. We're at seventeen. You Probably could, we're just going to go like Jade Light Branch Walker, right? And try to find a land that way. You could potentially Vivian Reed, Hills Flyer. But then the Vivian's just going to die. That's true. You could Chupacabra, the blocks. Yep. I, I, I kind of want to just like play two of the creatures. If you want to go wide, that's fine. Yeah. We're at a high enough life total that we have time. That helps us rebuild after. Like, the only downside is that your explore creatures die to your own finality, yeah. right? But Druid of the Cowl doesn't. That's true. So we can just play this. And because you're going to finality next turn, like, you're presumably fine with just blocking out. We'll, we'll, we'll keep Druid of the... Yeah, we can block one of the 1-1s. One mm -hmm. So they have to do something crazy here, like, find a way to give these all plus 2, plus 2. This guy dies... You're going to lose a bit of life here. Ah, that's okay, because we're going to get it all back off this wild growth walker. Yeah. I think, I think we're, we're going to be okay here. I think we're, we're going to maintain our sterling record against black-white vampires. So this is going to die, so we just get to block with this free. Mm -hmm. Is there a one mana pump spell that we should be worried about? Probably not. Jeez. Epicure of Blood, what a beating. It's probably very good and limited if you get the right deck. Probably. Ooh. Uh, finality. Yes, I would like to. No attacks? <laughs> it was a minus one power. <laughs> I'm still getting there. Ooh. All right, so now we go wide. This is like a good top deck for them mm -hmm. after we wipe their board. Doesn't do much. Doesn't do much. I mean, but it's good, right? It's I mean, like three they're things. at thirty-two and you're at eleven. We're gonna be we're gonna be at thirty-two soon enough with this hand. We have three, six, nine. They have something. We have fifteen points of life in our hand. What's in their hand? I don't know. Okay, that's what's. Wow. Draft chaff is what's in their hand. I just tank for a second. Stumble walker. Do we even just attack with this? Probably. They can't really block, right? Yeah, they have to block like three things on it. They, can't, they really... can't. They don't even have five power, so no, they just... they can't even really attack through your board. Like, I think the only things to think about, because this is clearly a budget deck, are the cards that you have to play around that are in pre-cons. So that's subtle. So the record is And there is one cleansing Nova. Oops. So just think about I don't think things. we need this one. Two is enough, right? We don't want to rub it in. We don't want to be a bad sport. So so they, they could have settled the wreckage and be like oopsing us, right? Yeah. Like you just send with one walker and probably your druid. Yeah. I think that's what you do here. This. Nope. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's oops. Good we thought that, about these things. That oops meant oops, I'm I'm dead. I'm just dead. I can't beat this. All right, where are we at? Oh, sh shoot. Oh, shoot? 
Uh, all right, so we're calling it for this video. I clicked the, 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 the software lagged again, and I clicked play. So that's it for this one. We're three and one, and we're going to be right back with the next round.